The Interview by Linda Rock, read by Linda Rock. First through the door is Danny, the first of four. His ill-fitting grey suit, either donated or purchased from a local charity shop, and a white shirt that has seen better days, tugs at my heart, as does the poorly knotted tie. A garment I can only assume he has never worn, but couldn't represent more the effort he has made. I greet him and gesture towards the chair opposite my desk. My questions, although intrusive, are well prepared and require little explanation. But even before the first is asked, I already know the answer. Danny will profess to be an angel, as will the three that follow. None will have touched alcohol or taken banned substances, and all their criminal records won't be their fault. But there is such desperation within each of them that it is impossible to judge. Their background stories brought them to this place, and they are heartbreaking as is the pleading expression in their eyes, all of which will influence my decision, although I'm already only too aware that this could be their last hope of a new beginning. Two weeks ago, I was handed the door key to the first of our night shelter houses, four bedrooms, all en suite, with a shared kitchen, to house four of our street homeless. As their support worker, I'll work with them in whatever way that presents, while liaising with agencies to obtain longer term accommodation, apply for appropriate benefits, and if they are able, get them into work. The door closes behind Kayla, aged beyond her years the last applicant, while I begin adding the final touches to the contracts they won't read, but need to have. Tomorrow they'll be given the good news that they can move in next week. Three will be manageable, one more problematic, but each equally deserving of this opportunity. They'll be told they are on a month's trial and have three months to find alternative accommodation. The road ahead won't be easy. There will be much to overcome, but I will give everything I have. Ultimately, their future rests in their hands.